All right, Mr. Sotko here, and welcome to War Game Red Dragon. And if you've never heard of this game, then you're not alone, because it sort of flew under the radar. It doesn't have a big following at any time uh, late at night. There's usually only a few games going, and it is a realistic-style uh, RTS. And it is... Uh, the reason why it's sort of an underdog is because it's a pretty hard game to play. And so... Uh, the name of the game, first and foremost, is you lay down some units right at the start. And infantry tent typically always come in uh, some kind of vehicle or helicopter. And in this game, you need recon. Uh, this game is, is unique in the sense that uh, you can't just send a big force out and hope that it does something. Because if I just send some tanks along and there are tanks or something uh, in, in here... Uh, they will just annihilate me because I won't be able to see them. So you need recon in this game, otherwise you just sort of run into traps. Um, and it's very hard because of that, because it's easy to just kind of bunker down in, in, uh, in a town or something like that and hold it, because you need various sorts of recon to see them, to shoot at them. Otherwise, you don't, you're, you're not able to engage until the last minute, which means that they've already fired on you. And so it, it, it's kind of difficult in that sense. Um, you also need plenty of anti-air stuff, and there's different types of that too. Um, some anti-air use missiles that have radar, that use radar to find uh, to find helicopters and uh, jets and things like that. And uh, some jets in this game have anti-radar missiles, so if you have your radar on to seek air... Um, Jets can come along and actually hit those things on the ground because they sense the radar and are able to attack back. So it's very unique, and it's a very difficult game, which I think turns a lot of people off about this game. Um, so right now we have four LVTP 7A1s with uh, Marines in them, and we have V-150s with... Navy SEALs. Navy SEALs in this game act as uh, recon. You can see by the little uh, binoculars. I have a CV. Uh, people just call them a CV, and uh, they are like a command truck, and they will they will capture points in these areas, but you have to keep them sort of hidden. Also, I have uh, two M8 AGS. Uh, they are like uh, tanks. They they have a uh, really good damage, but just pretty bad armor. Um, and I have the Vulcans. And these are AA, and they use just uh, bullets to, like quad cannons, essentially, to take out air. And so there's a move fast button in this game, and when you use the move fast button, you'll, you'll move along the roads. Like, uh, almost strictly along the roads, unless it's actually faster to not use the road. Uh, but if I would just actually send them up to where I want to go, um, the problem is... They will just go, they will take it the, the, the shortest route there. They'll take a straight route. And they'll go across all this land and it'll take them a long time. So you, you want to make sure that you use your move fast button uh, when you head out. So the game could be zoomed in quite a bit. It looks pretty good from the ground. Uh, some of the models are a little a little cheap looking, but that's okay. Because there's, there's uh, tons of units in this game for tons of different factions and countries. Uh, there's dense forest all over the map, and if, like I said uh, earlier, if you can get some tanks in dense forest, and somebody's moving along tanks like this, you will see them before they will see you, and you will fire on them probably multiple times. Sometimes you're unable to fire back because you simply can't see them. So that's why you need recon in this game. They can see further than other units, and they brighten things up, especially if you have them on a hill or something like that. So what we're going to do with this CV is we're actually going to park it right here in the woods. We're going to fast move there, otherwise it will just start going off course. We're going to move some of these... Navy SEALs into position. And we want them right up front. Now we're trying to get these LVTPAs... Um, LVTP... Um, the infantry up to these woods here. 
And we'll also get some air defense in there. And we're also going to put some air defense over here. At least. So, we're going to unload these. And now we unloaded our Navy SEALs. We're going to send one LVT up here. And a few over here. We'll have tanks in the tree line, and we'll move those up slowly Get enough. We're going to have these come all the way up here, right in the front, unload our other Navy SEALs, bring them up here. You want to make sure you unload um, pretty much as quickly as possible, because if your troops are inside of these um, APC troop carriers, they will get uh, pretty much demolished, and most of them will die from that. You can have things in, 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 in pairs or even more and it'll just run those around all at once or you can actually strip them and just have them in separate units. Off your ass and on your feet. Let's move. Now we have a pretty decent defensive line going. And we're going to bring this tank up to the front. It's going to attempt to get anything that comes across that bridge. And we're going to bring this one over here. Actually, I might bring that all the way up there. In this tree line, and it will be hidden up there. For the most part. And you sort of want to get all these things back. Uh, because if you are playing destruction mode, and these things die, it gives the enemy points. You don't want to do that. And they're, they're, they can be pretty good um, in combat, but they typically get hit by rockets because, see, like um, my Marines, not only do they have M16s to fight other infantry with, but they also have an AT4s. So if a tank's roll, tanks roll along and they get within 700 meters, they will fire their AT4 at the tank. Need some extra ice, sir? So we slowly gain more resources, and we can choose from a variety of different things uh, for various, various purposes. And things also need supply, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up a Hemet supply truck. Yeah, because things will eventually run out of, particularly things that use missiles, they run out pretty quick. Uh, like if you have an anti-air battery and it, and it has like, say it has like four missiles, um, they do run out pretty quick. If, if a plane flies above them, they'll launch two or three. If another one flies, they'll launch their last one. And then they'll be out. They'll be almost useless. So you need supply in this game. And you can get supply at your forward operating base. Or you can bring, uh, like I said, like a Hemet truck. And it is a like a military-style supply truck. And it will supply everything in that around it until it runs out. If it runs out, then you have to bring this actually back to the forward operating base and fill it up. Um, there are also sort of some other clever ways to to get um, supplies. Like this has 3,700 supply. And you can actually fly this to a Hemet truck and fill the Hemet up that way. As we can see, my, my ally is in Charlie, but he does not have it captured. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have a CV in there. He doesn't have a command vehicle, so it's it's not officially captured. And in destruction mode, when you have uh, these captured, you gain income at a faster rate. My ally over here has Echo. Uh, people often fly things around, and they'll put uh, they'll put things in other spots. And you, like you can fly around recon and, and put some recon here, and then they can see the base. Um, and say you have some artillery back here, they can see that artillery, and then their artillery will be more accurate when firing at this artillery. So there's quite a bit of strategy involved in the game. And uh, one wrong move and you, you lose things, because um, there can be anything just hiding in here. Um, there's almost certainly tanks and things hiding in here, so if I were to bring anything over here, it's definitely going to get hit. We have two OH 58 CS, and these are basically just anti-helicopter 
um, helicopters. Although they do fire at airplanes, but it is a short, shorter range. So they do not fire at the ground at all. So I can chase down things like this. Here's some enemy uh, recon, and they're coming to this tree line to see over here. But my AGS is shooting at it from over here as it was spotted by this VAB. KA-50 shooting at the VAB. And we'll take that out. So I'll try to swing around here and show you what these things can do. Um, however, he's probably... He's going forward with these, so that's, that's good. Uh, there's probably anti-air along through here, so I could get shot at if I do get too close. Let's fly. Okay, so we, we basically took each other out. This one didn't uh, get destroyed. These are just superior. Uh, they have 3,500, excuse me, uh, 2,600 and 25 meter range, while I only had about 2,200, something like that, so... And they did take out my M8 sitting in there because they have this recon, so it's seen my M8 from a distance. Put a CV in here, a command vehicle, and uh, so we took Bravo, so now we have slightly faster rate. And right now I'm going to get my first of two Paladins. The M10 Paladin is an artillery piece, it shoots 23,000 meters, which is... Uh, the entire map, basically, um, even from all the way back here, uh, it could shoot virtually the entire way across the map, even even from all the way across. But I'll be having it up here by my forward base, because these run out of supply very quickly. They have 35, 155 millimeter shells, and they will run out very quickly. And they take um, a lot of supply, so... So it's best just to actually just sit them next to your FOB, and um, I mean you definitely want to hide them in something if you possibly can. Like I can put them in here, sir. and it'll hide them a little bit. But they will get the idea of where they are at when I start firing. I only got this game about um, about a week ago, and I've been playing RTS games um, semi-competitively uh, almost all my life. And uh, this game is, is completely uh, unique in a lot of ways. Uh, it's, it's quite addicting, I've found. Enemy is in range, so are we. But, uh, for example, you, you just simply can't, um, even if I have um, pretty much the one of the best tanks in the world, uh, the M1A1 Abrams, uh, even if I masked these and had uh, the full seven that I can train, and I sent them across here to essentially assault this town, see what I can find, go pick a fight, I will get annihilated by helicopters um, and various tanks and and rocket launchers within these woods that are almost certainly there. So to do that, um, you kind of you kind of want to play how you play, you know, um, in real life. Like if I was going to assault this town, I'd want to bring some recon. I want to know what's up here. Maybe do some scouting beforehand and, and try and land some uh, some recon. Try and get something in here. Um, make sure I know what's what I'm what I'm dealing with, and then just bomb it all to hell first. Um, you can send. Uh, you can send uh, napalm, uh, a thousand kilogram bombs. Ready to okay, so now I have my two paladins all set up, and I can start bombing away. So there's a T-80 rolling across here. And this guy wants me to send a couple uh, troop carriers right across here, just to see what they got. Okay. We'll just to lose them, see what we, we got, and see how it goes. What are your orders, sir? But right now I'm going to get a couple another another M8s. M8s are very good in this game. They're only 50, whereas the Abrams is 120. However, if you look below. Um, there are 17 front armor in the Abrams, and this only has three, so it's very low. However, this has 17 attack power. The Abrams has 19, so it's only a difference of two. 
and, it's, and it has the same exact range. So you can pump these out, do a lot of work with them. Who do you want us to transport? Not for very little cost. And if you lose them, it's not too big of a deal because they only cost you 50. I think I took out the tank that was in here. Go ahead, over. And so now we're going to essentially just hotkey our artillery. And we're just going to lay siege to this town for a little bit. Okay, so they got a tank there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to attack that. We're going to that. With our artillery. And we sort of spooked them out. And there's now there's a T-80 here. And we know that there is a T-80 in here. So if I were to, if I were to bring uh, armor up there, it's just going to get shot at from the woods. And they're not really going to know what's going on. So we're checking to see where these land. Here come my two 155 mm shells. They landed just to the right. He will probably be moving that soon, but I'm going to let a couple more land just to just in case. And we're going to send some shells over there, too. Actually, let's hit these that are just sitting still. You want to hit things like this. And then you can see it. Um, you can definitely tell if you destroyed it. If the enemy is in range, so are we. At the ready, sir. Let's see where we hit. We got incoming. Well, I stunned them, but I did not destroy the one. At the ready, sir. Oh, I got one. And I don't think he'll be moving this one, so let's see what, uh... Let's see how many points we get for this tournament. It should go down pretty soon. As long as he doesn't move it. What are your orders, sir? No, we're actually going to take uh, one of these. We're going to take one of these and we're going to go right here with this. And I got an additional 20 points for the team for killing another. And we're going to move this second tank the along this uh, wooded area. Try and get some kills with these. What are your orders, sir? So the volley is over now. But we're going to volley again. Ammo, fuel, spare parts, anything you want. Let's bring our Hemet over here and fuel these up. Give those, Are you talking to me? all those troop supplies. Any they may have used. Give them hell, boy! That's the ready. Definitely get a, getting a lot of kills there. Ready to pound them, sir. Moving out. Okay, we'll get there as fast as we can. Let's go ahead and get a recon helicopter. Uh, Longbow is easily one of the best uh, units in the game. At the ready. That I have found, it's such a good unit, but um, it's very expensive, very easy to lose. It's a mix of firepower. And let's bring a couple new OHs out and try and take out some helicopters that are seem to be flanking around a little bit. So now they're subject to these radar missiles, which just totally take the, took those out. 
losing Sky bigger zone. units um, loses more points for your team. Well, gains points for the other team as you as you kill them. Um, so helicopters, jets, and things like that are worth quite a bit, or like the M1 Abrams is worth quite a bit, things like that. So you definitely don't want to lose things for no reason. You need to be efficient. Uh, but there is a, a, another mode too, um, and it's just like a capture mode, and by whoever captures the majority of these... Uh, um, will slowly win the game. This one, however, it doesn't really matter if you capture these. Um, just the more that you capture, the more it increases your income, which also helps you win, but uh, you, you simply can't lose too many troops. We'll get a better look from there. We're sweeping this area. Okay, so what we're going to do, he's already got a recon helicopter over here, so I'm going to bring this over here, over Get Charlie, and my M8 might be able to see some things that I can, uh, that I can hit with. Get a better look from there. Ten degrees up, fire! Okay, we got a Ural all the way back here, and we're going to hit that with artillery. <laughs> Sort of, I guess, sort of a waste of resources, but um, it doesn't really cost you anything to use the artillery, other than the fact that it uses shells. But if it's next to a forward base, um, they have plenty of see it going down as it's replacing the shells of the artillery. We're also going to do another kind of check that I was talking about earlier, and that is sending out a prowler that uses uh, seed missiles, which seek radar using equipment. And there may be some in these trees, and it will automatically fire at anything that uses radar, and it typically overpowers it. On my way to coordinates, out. But you also need to be careful with it because many things do not use radar. On my way to coordinates. Out. Um, there are infrared and there's hope the enemy don't have any other air types. Defense. Okay, we lost that, so that wasn't uh, that wasn't very efficient. But that's okay. That happened. We got my CV coming up here because he still never captured this, um, and this would be very useful to us because it's a plus four. Uh, it's right in between. Um, this is what is primarily fought over. Um, if this were to be a like a conquest game, this would be the absolute point that must be taken uh, to to be winning the game. Uh, you know, you could both have all of these, but this is the odd man out. So as soon as this thing stops moving, I'll just sort of hide it in these trees here to give it a little bit of cover. As soon as it stops moving, we will capture this zone and increase our income. So I'm not seeing anything to shoot at, so I'm just going to go ahead and take some wild pop shots. I'll have this one shoot over there. And that way they'll shoot slightly apart from each other. And we can see if we get any kills, it'll pop up like little points. We've got some VWV 90s uh, moving in here. They're still pretty far out. So we're just peppering this up, and there's almost certainly some troops in here somewhere. And 
but the thing is you got to kill the whole squad to get uh, to get really to get the points for it and they're pretty hunkered down uh, fairly good in towns unless you burn it and then they have to run out of the town someone call for a cab world consists of two types of people artillerymen and targets Oh, let's bring up another longbow, and we'll fly it over here. And we're going to go ahead and bring in some recon, but we're going to bring in Navy SEALs in a Chinook. Bring it right here, and then walk it to the edge. Okay, that's like a double whammy. Somebody, uh... I uh, see now that now they're actually starting to run out of the town. The world consists of two types of people: artillerymen and uh, we got some panthers coming around the side. Gonna try and do a flank and maneuver of some sort. So we need to fire again, and they have hotel. But I have to find out where they would put their truck. So let's just go ahead and shoot in here. Sometimes you can get a lucky shot and get their their CV, and if they say say their CV is right here, and I hit it and destroy it, it will take this away from them until they bring another one, which doesn't do too much damage, but it will it will hurt their income a little bit, and uh, we will uh, gain some points from actually killing the CV. And we need four thousand to win, and we are about thirteen hundred more than uh, our opponent. Okay, so we are unloading our recon over here. Be blind without us. And we're going to get this chopper out of here because we don't want to lose it. So we'd rather just send it off to its own and that way we don't lose it. I'm going to send three choppers over here. I'm going to try and get some around the back and put them in various places if I can. And um, so, example, if I could put some in here or here, I might be able to see some troops. And then with that, I could hit with my artillery a little bit better. Okay, so we do see their CV. We have a CV coming here. I did get their CV. Um, I, I do believe I actually hit their CV. Uh, and we'll try and get this one. Nope, it's moving, so we will not be able to get that one. Go ahead and just fire there in case he's bringing that uh, CV in there, and uh, that way maybe we'll get another lucky hit. Although there is some damage here, so somebody else maybe hit there, but I do believe they probably put it there because um, they're four to FB, so they probably just sent it, you know, to the quickest spot. I um, mean, this forestry is a little thinner, so they probably put it over here. Well, I guess it's about the same. You spotted something.
Okay, so we are essentially taking over the enemy base right now. At the ready, sir. So, let's go ahead and move over our longbow. See if we can spot anything for our M8. Do kind of a little push here. If we can get anything done. And where would they put it in Kilo? Let's check. I'm going to start throwing it right there and see if we can... Uh, Okay, hit my longbow, so I gotta back out of there. Go over here and land. And I can repair with this uh, Hemet truck here. But I got some artillery coming at the anti air that was shooting at me. And hopefully I get that. So it's currently repairing. It will take a little while. And I did get it. It was worth 100. And we won. So we won by uh, a good uh, good 1,000 points or so. It's a pretty good game. And that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you liked it, like and subscribe. And uh, as usual, I will see you guys later. Bye.